Hey everybody, welcome one and welcome all. I am Technivorous, and today I'm going to tell you how everything I know about 3D printing I learned from YouTube. But first, obviously I need you to reduce your Z offset on that subscribe button and give it a good first layer squish. Now that that's out of the way, I brought you here today to discuss the valuable resources we all share here on YouTube. Recently, I was taking a look through my analytics. These are the different data metrics YouTube shows you on your videos, watch time, subscribers, and you guessed it, even your viewers. Now, tuck back in here is a section called Channels Your Viewers Also Subscribe To, and it's this little rectangle of insight that inspired this video. Now, if you don't know, I don't do a lot of collaborations, so in the making of this video, I reached out to all of these great folks and received a very nice response, I think. Needless to say, most of them were happy to be thought of and included, and I did make everybody aware that if they didn't want to be in the video, all they had to do was say so. Nobody gave me a negative response. So first, let me say I'm not surprised by any of these names up here. I personally have used all of these YouTubers as a resource at one point or another. Okay, so great. We have a bunch of YouTubers here who make great content. Odds are good most of you are familiar with the core of this list. But I want to take the time to go over each one and let you know which of their videos I found most helpful when I was first starting out or struggling with a topic. I also want to point out some great 3D printing tubers who you may not know about, like Naomi Wu, who I was surprised not to see on the list. So, without further ado, let's start at the beginning. I'll be starting with Angus, not because he's the biggest or the best on this list. Don't get me wrong, he's amazing. But we'll begin here because it was him who convinced me to talk my wife into buying a 3D printer. Although, I'm pretty sure he doesn't know that, because we've never really spoken. Maker's Muse is the biggest channel on this list, and as such, needs no introduction, but I would be remiss if I didn't tell you of all the videos he has. There are a few that you definitely shouldn't miss. His video comparing slicer features and functions was the main deciding factor in me using Kira, and now Kira videos are my main viewership. If you don't know, I have a whole playlist where I answer Kira questions left in the comments, and another where I go over Kira settings one by one in five minutes or less. You can find the links in the description beneath all these other great YouTubers. In my opinion, Angus's best videos are the ones where he just does whatever he wants. Like, what the hell is an Oloid? If you don't know, you need to watch that video as well. Maker's Muse is in theory dedicated to the making of all sorts of cool projects, like a homemade pit boy. And on that note, cue the segue. Okay, we're talking project channels and pit boys so I have to mention this next guy. He gave me a great response to my email, and keeping in mind that I'm going in no particular order here, so don't be thinking I skipped anyone. Okay, this is Zach. This guy has blown up, and I'm not going to lie, even though I'm a tad bit jealous, okay, super jealous, I can see why. His videos are eye-catching and clever, and packed with little nuggets of information that 3D printers will find useful. I highly recommend checking out his Test Every Filament videos. There are two of them, and they are captivating to say the least. Zach was kind enough to give me the go-ahead to show you this. And if you're in need of some simple, direct, and easy explanations, I would definitely recommend teaching tech. I just found out in the course of writing this that he's a primary school teacher, which explains why his videos are so easy to understand. I spoke to Michael briefly when making this video, and he suggested I put up his 3D printing for beginners playlist, so I've included a link but he has other interesting stuff as well, like this. So don't just stop there, dig around, and you'll find some awesome content. Make with Tech this is another great channel that I don't think as many people are aware of as they should be. Check out the video I linked on buying a 3D printer. It is the most in-depth breakdown of what to look for in each component and why that I have ever seen, and it's an amazing resource for those just starting out with easy to understand explanations of things a new buyer might otherwise miss when purchasing their first printer. Now, let's talk about mods. Scott Yujan. This guy has got some amazing video presence. He doesn't have a huge catalog of videos, but they're all very well done, and it's worth noting that his playlist making stuff includes several modification and upgrade videos for the Ender 3 series printers. These videos have millions of views, so if you haven't seen them, you're missing out. That brings me to another huge favorite of mine on this list, BV3D. Now, somehow I didn't know about this channel until recently, but I've been spending a lot of time surfing it lately and there is a veritable plethora of information to be found. I would recommend his unbox, build, first print videos, but the link I included for him will bring you here. This is his playlist page 
and very thorough and very organized, which makes it easy to find whole sections on Ender 3 Series printers and 3D printer maintenance. This is very well laid out and an excellent resource for people who want a lot of information in one place. Okay, by now I know everyone is wondering, well, what about Joel? Joel's a great guy, and as the go-to 3D printer here in the U.S., he's tested pretty much every printer you can name. And some you probably can't. If you're looking for a review on a 3D printer, he's probably tried it, and he'd love to tell you all about it. Information on Joel's channel is always great, so make sure you keep an eye out for his rep rap festivals. When they begin to kick off, he's usually there making videos about all the cool people and cool stuff. I want to take a beat here to mention, Joel was the first YouTuber who ever responded to me asking for advice on my channel. His advice was short, sweet, and valuable, and I still use it to this day. You'll often find him tweeting back and forth. With this guy, this is Chuck Hellebuck, over on the Chep channel. It's Hellebuck. I don't know why I always mispronounce it. There's an extra Y in there. <laughs> Sorry, Chuck. Over on the Chep channel. And there isn't a single video I can recommend from this guy, because you need to see them all. I'm sure everybody here is familiar with Filament Friday, but if not, you need to go and check them out. Right now. Every one of them. Every Friday, Chep posts something new on 3D printing, and there are always a wealth of knowledge. Specifically, if you're looking for tweaks to get your Ender 3 profile just right, or want to know how to calibrate something. If your interest in 3D printing is related to guns or firearms, then I highly recommend you check out this guy. This is the 3D Print General. Recently, he has fallen into basically being the main guy that I watch for firearms and things like that. He's kind of definitely went down that rabbit hole and learned a lot in the last couple months. Some of his project videos and a lot of his recent videos circulate around guns, ghost guns, things like that, and they are an amazing wealth of knowledge. So if you want to look at stuff like that and that's something that you're into, definitely give him your first look and he'll introduce you to a couple other people like Control Pew and things like that. So start there. You'll find exactly what you need. And then we have Design Prototype Test. Now, I don't care what anybody says. I love this guy. He's got like a bajillion degrees. And yeah, he may not get along with everybody, but why should he have to? He's doing his own thing. Tons of great videos, projects, ideas, and tips. So make sure you check his channel page thoroughly. Finally, before we leave, I want to re-bring up Naomi Wu. We didn't talk about her much. I simply mentioned her. And I want to point out that her channel is fantastic and is full of information for 3D printers. Now, it's not just about 3D printers. On the Sexy Cyborg, you'll find all sorts of information about everything from machines to sometimes just blogs from Naomi herself. But everything she says having to do with 3D printing is very poignant, and she makes a lot of great points. In fact, Naomi was the spokesperson for Creality for a while, and her name and face are on the box of the belt printer they sell that they call the Naomi Wu Print Mill. So, if you've seen somebody on this list and thought about checking them out, but haven't yet made the transition over to their page to check out some of their content, make sure you check out their link down below in the description and see what I recommend because I think they're all great places to start with each of these channels and I know you'll be just as addicted to me as learning a new thing every day from all of these amazing people. I want to thank everybody who responded and was willing to be involved in this video. I appreciate you letting me use a little bit of your footage and I hope that everybody in the community finds this video helpful as far as where to find extra resources they may not have known about. That being said, that's going to conclude this video, guys. As I said, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We need to get our subscriber count up. We're doing pretty good lately. It's been a great week. I have a bunch of new videos out on Kira 5, the beta. They just released some extensions for it. Octoprint is there now. I did an accuracy comparison video that's doing really, really well. So if you'd like to see that, I'll put a link up in the corner. And that's going to be it. Technivorous out.